Yo, it's Chris from Exile Gaming, and today we're going to make your webcam go from this to this or this or this or maybe even this. Before we get started, just a quick reminder that I do stream on Twitch most days, and I will leave a link down in the description. So if you want to go ahead and open up your OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, the practice is the exact same. Okay, to get started, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a source. And that's the camera in this case. It could be gameplay, a video, you know, whatever. And we're going to need a filter. And a filter is what we refer to as a LUT. A LUT is a lookup table and it allows the computer to reference a color and then use a different color. So if I talk about this shade of pink, the computer will use a different shade of pink. Or when I say talk, I mean if the webcam picks up a shade of pink, um, use a different shade of pink. Now, LUTs can be either expensive because they come part of bundles or they can be a pain to source you know a critical mass of them not only that like there's not one shoe fits all when it comes to settings with a camera you know you need to invest in good lighting but it does you know my settings wouldn't work the exact same for you because it depended on how much daylight you let in your room whether I, you, we can recreate the exact same environment now i've gone ahead and created 40 personal um LUT packages and you will find those down at the the link into those down in the description so go ahead and download those completely free and extract those and what we'll do is we'll go through how to add the the LUTs in, in a moment now i've gone ahead and opened up obs and hopefully you've downloaded the free pack by now and extracted it of course so now for the record before we get going i've removed all color corrections all filters everything from my camera just so you can get like the raw experience and see how it affects so obviously i'd use you know the settings are completely dependent from on your environment so you know you might add a filter but you might actually need a little bit of color correction as well to maybe brighten it up darken it down adjust the contrast or whatever play around with it but um you'll get the idea from from hopefully what i'm about to demonstrate so i'm going to just go ahead and right click on our source click on filters and click on add apply LUT and then just name that to apply LUT here I get two options I get path and I get um, the amount the amount is think of it as like a 0 to 100 you know how much of the percentage of this filter do you want to use path is fairly self-explanatory it's just the path to the, to the LUT if we click on browse we're going to get presented with the OBS default window so OBS comes or um, slobs I believe it's the same comes pre-bundled with some default ones that you can use for example grayscale so earlier when we were talking about the, um, the, the, the lookup chart and how a computer takes a color and looks up and knows to use another color for grayscale obviously you can see that it's taken every single color and every single instance of that color is uh, black grays and whites and that's why the whole thing is black grays and whites so i'm just going to navigate to our LUTs package that we've downloaded and what i've tried to do is name keep the naming convention close to the first word that dropped and um, popped into my head when i was uh, creating the individual color corrections so for, for example if i click on misty swamp close this down i kind of got this like really swampy froggy vibe from it um and so it's logically called misty swamp um and so that way i think hopefully it'll give you some kind of idea you know i think people can kind of name them a bit of abstract and a bit like you know there's there's names floating about and there's numbers and, and whatever but it doesn't really give you a grasp as to as to what the actual filter is but at the end of the day, you know, you're only going to know by actually setting that filter up and 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 clicking filter and and you know seeing what works best for you. So I'm just going to go through and demonstrate, you know, a, a few of the filters that we've uh, we've made. So Misty Swamp is obviously we're elevating the you know the, the greens and it kind of gets that that froggy vibe. Toxic, you know, is another one which is like it's almost like a, an electric vibrant green and obviously the the yellows as well on on the object myself. So I kind of got this like toxic waste, poisonous kind of feel. Um, I've got winter is coming, you know, elevates the blues in, you know, and gives me this whole like white walker kind of vibe. Uh, if I've got a Western, which is, you know, like if it, when I was creating this, it, it kind of made me feel like I was in, you know, um, a wild, wild West movie. Um, we've also got like a cowboy brown version of this. So again, it's another like, wild wild west-esque kind of elevate the browns keep those colors and you know not too dark but um at the same time not too bright 
click on browse let's go with here's here's one for you um an old school filter so this is very much like a snapchat instagram-esque filter that you see every single time that sort of new device creates a new filter it's it seems to be there but what we uh, you know as i said what we can do is we can change like the amount that we we use on this and we can see how it affects the image just by flicking it on and off here so i'm gonna just for demonstration purposes i'm gonna uh what else have we got i think we've got like a dark aquarium you know like that deep kind of um dark greens electric blue deep blue red highlights so you get the idea so there's no point in me going through every single one of them but yeah i think i think you see where we're going with this so as i say it's completely free to download you know just go ahead and, and use them however you however you like for for your stream so i'm going to click on uh, browse and i'm just going to select winter is coming and just because it's the last one so click close and what you might say is well of course this is going to work well you working with a sony dslr that's plugged into your computer and mounted with key lights and everything like that and whilst that's true for the most part what i would say though is it's not the only reason it's working so what i'm going to do is pull up my logitech c920 and i've done the you know it's, it's working the exact same right now it's mounted maybe seven inches seven inches away from um the, the you know the, the dslr camera i'm i'm sure that last 10 seconds is going to be made into a meme of some sort anyway it's it's mounted about seven inches away from the the dslr so although we don't get the exact same angle it's um it was called it's 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 plugged in with the same light same same everything um and what i'm going to do is go and apply the exact same filter so if i click on apply LUT. To Lutz, winter is coming, and you can see we get you know that we still get quite a nice effect by just adding you know a really really simple um LUT. And, and bear in mind here that we've not changed any of the color corrections, we've not done any other settings, it's literally right click, filter, apply a LUT, and that's it, that's all we've done. So I hope that makes sense to everyone. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to everyone as quickly as possible. Other than that. Until next time, take care.